Okay, demonstrating greater link being installed. We have a simulated mo board here. Um, we're going to install these three segments. So the first thing we're going to do, make sure we have our PPE on, hard hat, safety glasses, gloves, steel toed shoes. We're going to take our bolt, slide it into the blade, hold it with our thumb, and then we're going to lift this segment, which only weighs 20 uh, kilos, so one person can do it. And we're going to slide it into the hole, and it will hang there by itself. While it's hanging there, to keep it secure, we're gonna add the hardened flat washer and the nut from behind while we hold the bolt from the front. This is only finger tightened, just to make sure that this doesn't fall off prematurely. Once we have it finger tightened, we're gonna repeat the process on the next three, or on the next segments for the rest of the machine. So we're gonna take our bolt and our segment. We're going to hold the bolt with our thumb. We're going to lift the segment again, only 20 kilos, and we're going to install it on the machine. It will hang there by itself while we attach the hardware. We're going to hold from the front, finger tighten the hardware. And we're going to repeat this process again. We're going to take our bolt and our segment, put it in, hold it with our thumb, lift it up by hand, install it onto the machine, and it will hang there while we install the hardware. The next step would be to take the keys and the same bolts, pre-install the bolt in the key, and install it through the blade system like so. You can install these across the entire blade, all the way along. And then you take the hardened flat washer and lock nut and finger tighten those only across the back of the blade. It's very important here at this stage to only finger tighten the system. So we just have these, new, these nuts loosely fastened to the machine. Okay. The next step would be to install bolts in any remaining holes in the system. For example, this end hole, we'll put the bolt in. And again, only finger tightening. We'll attach the hardware just by hand from the back. The next step would be to take your torque wrench, preset to the recommended setting in the installation instructions, and tighten the nuts that are on the link segments only. This is a very important step because by tightening these nuts while the rest of the system is still loose, we ensure proper alignment. So again, the bolts that go through the red links are to be tightened to the recommended torque setting before any other nut in the system. Once the link segments have been tightened, the balance of the nuts on the back of the system can then be tightened. Okay, the removal process is basically the assembly process in reverse, with a few minor changes. The first step would be to remove all of the end bolts and nuts in the system. So I've pre-loosened them, but they can be removed like so. Leaving only the center bolts and the link segment bolts. After all the end bolts are removed, the next step is to remove the bolts that are attaching the link segments. Those can be completely removed at this stage.
Once those bolts and link segments are removed, we want to remove the nut and washer from the back of the center bolts one at a time. Supporting the segment with your hand so it doesn't unintentionally fall off, we remove the nut and washer and then carefully lift down the segment with the bolt attached. This process is then repeated across the balance of the machine and the segments can be removed. Remembering to only remove the nuts and washers one at a time so that the balance of the segments remain safely attached. And that's how you remove greater length.